On this episode, I'm going to be showing you how we're going to replace this rotted load bearing beam. So make sure you stay tuned. So welcome back to our new home renovation series. We just purchased this home just this year and now we are going to go and start tearing down some walls. One of the walls that we tore down is this wall right here from the living room onto this other room. So the reason why we tore this wall open is because it's the thing nowadays is the open floor concept and plus it makes the room a lot bigger and it makes it a lot nicer to look at without all these divides. We found out when we opened up this wall on my left side that there is a rotted area on the top. Now the reason for that rot is because if we go upstairs right on the up floor, the room balcony, which now we're converting into a walk-in closet by the way. So if you go look through that roof, there was an opening there that wasn't roofed properly so there was a leak going through there so with that being said you have that slow leak that is going through this drywall so right when i took out the drywall in here it was very moist and there was some roots growing onto this wood now it's dry we patched it up temporarily up there with silicone and some flashing but we are on process of buying a new piece of support. I do apologize if you hear that beeping sound on the background of this video. It's because we shut off the main power of this home because we have all this wiring just hanging around everywhere. It's for safety purposes. But if you look behind me, you can see that most of this wall has been taken out. Some of these two by sixes haven't been removed because we want to still support that load bearing beam because we are currently on order for a new beam. What they used here was a two by nine, two of them side to side to support this load up here which I think was a cheap way to do it. So what we did was we ordered a brand new 116 inch long by nine. So it's gonna be a thick one. So we special ordered a beam that is nine inch tall, six inch wide and 116 inch long. Now you're probably wondering how much does that cost to customize it? Well, we had to go to a lumber mill to have that customized and it cost over $2,500 friends. So that is a very expensive thing because we have, we put it on rush, depending on where you're located, that's what it is for the cost of this mill to mill that special customized size for this support. So this is a very costly thing to do. So if you're planning on doing this to your home, be mindful of the prices that it will go up that high. Now that's not including labor friends. Be very mindful before you get yourself into this project. And again, friends, this is something that I wouldn't do it yourself. This is not a DIY just to let you know. I'm just recording this so that you know where, what you're going to get into if you are planning to open up a wall that is load bearing and starting to replace some things. Now, in your situation, you might open up a wall and your load support or your beam is still in great tack or in great shape. So you might not even fork out that much money. So all you got to do is pay for labor. So we're going to build a wall out of two by sixes, put up a jack, so that we can take off this rotted beam right here. So I'm just very thankful that my wife wanted to open up this because this is gonna be, end up having being a music room for the kids and we want it open, especially this, the height of the ceiling is very high, it's good for acoustics. I'm really glad that she thought of that design because if we didn't, then we wouldn't have found out that this beam was rotted. So those are the things you wanna look out for, especially if you're trying to find a home that they say is renovated ready to move in there's some stuff that is hidden on the wall if you do not open it then you might not even see it till it's too late so unfortunately this one is pretty much close to collapsing i'm just very thankful also that the damage didn't go further in it stopped right at where the two by sixes are right here to the wall so the damage did not spread it only got maintained over there once we go and jack this up and replace the beam it's actually going to be more structurally sound because it's a lot thicker six inch thicker so what we also did was we also added brackets here because this is load bearing this load is supporting that so we put more on the back side this is the one that i was telling to you guys about that they used the wrong stuff they nailed it they should have used the heavy stuff right there. So we're going to be replacing this with this thickness, this type of material. So I wanted to see if this area was leveled and you can see it is not quite there. So in order for us to jack it up about a quarter to a half inch, we're going to have to construct a temporary wall made out of two by sixes. Now this wall has to be a two by six because it is a three story house 
and in order for us to make it nice and secure we're gonna have to use this type of wood so i was very happy that we got hooked up by the lumber mill with these pieces to construct this temporary wall and it, we have to make this nice and strong in order for us to replace that old temporary beam or that beam the so called that the past owner installed The top plate right there, what I'm pointing, that is supposed to be resting on top of that load bearing beam, which is not. So that's another issue that you can see that this was not built correctly. And also, if you look at the pieces of wood, there are new pieces versus the old pieces. And you can tell that they left a huge gap right there where it should be nice, one continuous load bearing beam so if you look right here you can see on the left side that the, those are new pieces of wood that they just jammed between the joists and if you look on the right side that's the original three by nine glue lamb beam that is supposed to be going continuous all the way across that they cut and you can see that there is sag going on on the left side so we have no choice but to take this old glue lamb beam that was left over and that was cut so this is a glue lamb beam pretty much it's just pieces of wood that are been you know put together to make one strong beam it's still pretty strong but we're going to replace it with a much stronger beam which is one piece of wood so again friends make sure you get some few quotes before you start digging into this project because it could range up to thousands just for labor alone so be mindful of that so this is the beam that we got off the lumber mill this was custom made and it is by 12 feet so it is six by nine by 12 feet so we just have to go cut it up and make it fit to size which is 116 inches that we needed so we have to notch it as well so that we can place it right on the very end to notch it in place but don't worry we are gonna go and put strong bolts through them so it took three of us to lift up this beam and so we can place it right on the very exact spot that we wanted we use a temporary piece of wood so that we can hammer it right into place and you can see that obviously this it can't be a diy because you need people to help you lift this beam up so we use the floor jack to go and raise it up and you can see it is nice and flush after we jacked it up that was a very satisfying moment and after that we secured it with these plates you can see on this right side that we are getting there it's nice and flush we're going to jack it up just a little bit more on these joists because there was sagging it was not secured so the joists sagged so we have to raise them back up and put tie downs on there so i'm going to be showing you those tie downs later now we're going to for this area since there's two joists put together we're going to secure it with these bolts we know for sure that this beam is not going to go anywhere or shifting at all we added the brackets now we're adding more support which is two by six and framing it really well and again friends this is a lot of work that's why the labor is so expensive again this is just for informational and i want to show you my process of what i went through to frame and replace this load bearing beam this is not definitely not a diy so we put those tie downs on each choice connected to the beam again this beam was not cheap it cost over 2500 dollars and it wasn't included labor to install this okay friends so make sure you check your area for how much they charge for labor i just wanted to share this video to share my experience and what i went through to replacing this beam hope you found this video helpful please hit that like subscribe notification bell and stay tuned because i have more videos coming up on this new home renovation build